here's an alternative to that steerable nose wheel that uh, people use for the uh, yaw mechanism on their tricopters and uh, here's the one that I came up with this is your standard barrel bolt get the size that you want it comes in three parts this part here this one and a set of screws so keep that tuck that away and the uh, steerable nose wheel actually has three parts it actually has the end part just imagine the center is not there this end part and this end part and a center part right here so that's what we're going to do now to do that we'll take this one off it screws off easily take the bolt off and we have to cut it right here make this into three parts right here and here well actually you can just buy three of these three sets of these and you have three of these and you can use two on each end uh, one on each end and one in the center let's use some elbow grease this time and cut this one and also because I'm cheap and cut this part right here 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 and that'll leave us with these ends Now that takes the center off, and take that out, and we're left with these guys. Now as you can see, I was not able to cut that straight. So what I'm going to do is use the factory cut sides by turning it around, and I'm pretty sure that's straighter than my cut. Use this guy here as the center part for the yaw, and I'll show you how that works. If I can find the bolt, uh, there it is. Okay, this part where the hole is, doesn't matter where it goes, it's up to you. Just push it straight through, get the uh, center part upside down like that, and there you go. That's how this barrel bolt yaw mechanism or tilt mechanism for your tricopter works. Now all you have to do is secure it. Okay, here's, here's something that happens. Uh, when you get these things uh, the center the uh, spine or the axle actually has a lot of play and you take that out by getting your pliers and pinching these tabs right here together making a smaller hole making a tighter fit for the bolt and there you go no more play and it's going to help also here, this side, oops, sorry, this side, this side's pretty loose too, so I'm going <clears> to <throat> tighten that also, squeezing in, okay, good fit, now put back the uh, center part right there, and there you go, and what's good about this is, these mounts actually lift the center part above the uh, surface here and that doesn't even touch it if you can see it there see that gives it a smooth swivel or tilt left and right there you go now what you have to do is make sure that the bolt or the spine or barrel here doesn't move okay here's a tip if you're gonna do this with a middle part mounted like this do it upside down so the uh, glue drips outward because you don't want to you don't want you don't want the glue to mess the swivel of the center part there you go and I think I did I just keep moving that one make sure it doesn't stick alright now let's do the other side make sure it's flat Keep it flat on a base like this. And we did that part right, so we'll do this part. Right down, right there. And one more for good measure. Close that, and then wait for it to dry. And there you go, guys. Your barrel bolt tilt mechanism. We can loosen that up a bit just by doing that. Spraying these tabs. There you go. 
Cool. That's it. This is my prototype, and just to make sure that the bolt doesn't come loose, I just added hot glue on the ends there, right here, on both ends. And it seems to work fine. I'll show you how that flew, and it flew pretty well. I forgot to mention that uh, in my prototype barrel bolt yaw, this black thing over here, if you can see it, that's a piece of foam that I put there in between the center, center part and this piece of wood, which served as the base of the motor. The motor was attached here. Now that foam is there to eliminate vibration, but what that also did was raise this platform up from the ends of the barrel bolt yaw, and that created some clearance for the whole thing to move freely like this. Now, unlike the uh, David Findistel version, my servo was mounted underside, not top side. So, there was a push rod connected to this servo horn here, and that made it tilt this way. Now, if you wanted to do the uh, David Findistel version, you can have your barrel bolt yaw screwed onto a uh, wooden base like this, and get your servo horn, mount it flush, the barrel, uh, the bolt must be mounted flush to the ends of the, uh, the uh, wood there. And your servo horn would be placed this way and screwed there, here. Make sure that it's centered on the bolt barrel there. Right? Now if you do this, you have to make sure also that the ends do not rub against the uh, surface of the uh, wood, underside of the wood, because <clears throat> that's mounted like this. So that's the underside. What you can do is do as I did with the uh, with my prototype. You can put a uh, piece of foam there, or any kind of shim. Actually, all you need to do is raise the whole mechanism here so that the ends don't rub against the underside of the platform. Or you can do what I did. You can screw this in find out where the center is, unscrew it, get your file and create a groove for your ends here and just make it deep enough so that the ends don't rub. Screw them back in. So once you mount them here you might encounter some play because these screws are going to pull the tabs apart and that's going to create a bigger opening here for the barrel to move. Now what you can do is unscrew it. Now don't squeeze the tabs like I told you. You can do that for this part. But once you screw them, these are fine because these are going to get uh, zip tied to the boom. So that's fine. Here, once you unscrew them, you have to squeeze the center like this. So much so that it pinches barrel inside and that's gonna eliminate the play once you screw it screw one side in tighten that one get a screwdriver flathead screwdriver push that in push this part in and while you're doing that screw this in there 
and that's going to pinch that barrel to eliminate that play. And this is what you're going to get. Just smooth tilting. The barrel bolt, yaw. Thanks, guys.